Hi, hi. Uh, welcome to our video tutorial. Uh, this is programming training uh, channel. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe. Uh, so we'll jump into the, the content. So in this video, we'll continue developing our simple dictionary application. So let's open it. And I have added a, a few uh, classes from the previous video. Uh, so let's review what we have. Okay, this is my uh, my phone that I would like to test. So we'll see that in uh, soon. So what we have here, uh, we already have a list of words. We are developing this application uh, to work on three languages: English, Amharic, and French. Okay. So we are we are using only uh, like ten words, but. It works for 1000 if we implement it for 10. So this is our sample file. So this were, this file, make sure this file uh, is saved as Unicode. So let's go to show in Explorer. Let's go to the file and make sure it is saved as Unicode. You can check it by save us. And the encoding has to be Unicode. So I opened it uh, in Notepad. Either way, uh, I don't think it matters uh, which editor you are using. Just make sure that it's saved as Unicode encoding format. Okay. So this is our file. So in this video, what we are going to do is, uh, I'll, I'll explain. Uh, I will uh, try to explain the database logic, the code we use to access our database, to add new words to our database and to retrieve or to search uh, words from our database. So this is uh, our class, database logic. And let me explain how it works. So I have created a database logic class. It extends uh, SQLite open helper class. This SQLite open helper class is uh, a class that, that's already uh, implemented in Android Studio. I just extended it. I just extended it and uh, imported it as well. So when you import this class, it requires onCreate method and onUpgrade. So I override these two classes. The onCreate class makes, makes sure that we have created our table and our upgrade will make sure that whenever we want to upgrade whenever we want to change our database let's say the database version right now it's version one so if i want to make it version two then this upgrade code will be uh, will be executed so that it will remove uh, our table and the database will be recreated again so the on create method will be called after the the existing database or the existing table has is removed so here, uh, when we instantiate the, the database logic class, we, we give it a context. And in that context, we are going to create our database. So these are, uh, I used uh, constant variables or finals in Java. Uh, yeah, I'm usually, uh, I'm used to uh, C sharp. That's why the terminologies are a bit confused. But these are where I think the, the idea is the same. So the database version variable set to one database name. I want it to be simple dictionary DB. You can make it wherever, whatever you want. But I only need one table for now. That table will contain the list of words in three columns, Amharic version, English version, and French. So whenever somebody types an English uh, word, and try to search its Amharic or its French meaning, then I will accept the English word and provide the two columns as a result. Okay, so I only need one table, which is called TBL words. So in the database logic, when the class is instantiated in its constructor, I will call the super function and it, it takes context database name and the factory i don't i don't need anything just uh, give it null and the database version okay so automatically when we create an instance of this database a database will be created if it's not already been created if it's already been created with the same version there's, there's nothing to do 
okay so on create function it creates a table I declared a variable and uh, make a statement create table with the table words name the table name here and we have three columns English Amharic and French all are text and English the English word is a primary key here because I don't want uh, duplicated English words if we want duplicate English words with different meanings then we have to add a new column here called ID and it's a primary key it's integer in add, it can be also an automatic number or auto increment so after the query is concatenated and created then I can execute the SQL statement and this one by default creates one table for me if I want to create another table I can uh, repeat this process again as many times as I want with different table names okay so this is how uh, we set up our database now after we set up our database we have a couple of uh, functions that we want to implement so that we can interact with the database uh, efficiently so we have uh, a couple of functions let's say add new word function get all words function search specific word and search similar words okay we have this four functions add new word what add new word does is uh, as its name explains things pretty forward we receive a word model we have created our word model in the previous video so our word model contains Amharic word English word and French word string variables and it has a constructor we have added a constructor after the previous video and we have defined three get functions and three set functions so that we can access those variables outside this class because these variables are private okay <clears throat> so uh, when we receive word model we extract the word model variables get Amhari, get English and get French words and store them in uh, content values this content values is a class being brought by Android Studio I just imported it so as you can see it's been imported so db dot db is the SQL Lite database and I say this because this implies my current database get writable database give me the database so that I can write something to it or I can update something from it okay so then I have that instance and I can call insert function I gave it the table and the list of values so insert these values into this table in the values I gave it the column name and the value to be stored so the DB insert function will automatically store the current record into this database and the connection will be closed so let's see get all words function what it does is it doesn't take any uh, input it returns list of all the words in our database okay so we have created uh, an empty uh, word model list and what we did is we just uh, we just create uh, our simple select statement select Amharic English and French word columns from table words the table words is declared as a constant uh, outside the class outside the functions and here I want the database to be get writable I think it's unnecessary I can say get readable database so that I, I don't want to write anything to that database so get readable database get writable database might contain some uh, reference variables tries to manage the, the current state of the database so that I can add or update something but if I want to read something from the, data, the table I think get readable is enough so from the get readable database I can execute raw query the raw query that I prepared here so I gave it the select query and it's returned to my cursor cursor is nothing but uh, a virtual table which contains the 
the selected data from the database using the executed query. So here we check if cursor dot move to first is true. Okay. If the there is nothing returned from the database using the query, then the cursor dot dot move to first will will return nothing or will return false. So it doesn't do anything. It just returns the empty words model. If we have something, then we start a do while loop. And in that do while loop, we'll execute, uh, we'll collect everything from our cursor, add it, create a new model, and set the values to it, and add our new model to the models list, and do this until we have cursor that moved next to get false. If it gets to false, then it will uh, skip the do while loop and returns the list of words that we already have. So this this is for get all words. And here we might have now we might have two search for search requests from the user. One is if I want to search the the meaning of a word. But I, I know the exact spelling of the word. That way, I can use this function, search a specific word, and I give it the word. The word is an English word. So right now, we are, we are searching using the English word. I can enter hello, and the system will return me. Hello means in Amharic, what it means in Amharic, and what it means in French. So it will return a single model. Everything is the same from the previous function. The only difference is it returns a single model. It doesn't have a list of models. Okay, but what if the user wants to search similar, similar words that starts with H, that starts with uh, AB or HA? Okay, this kind of searches requires like or similarity searches. So we need another function which takes a sample word and it returns a list of words similar to it. So the only difference we make from the get all words is we write the statement and we added a where clause. And the where clause uses where English column like this word. So any word that contains the given word, if the given word is A, then any word that contains A will be retrieved and will be returned to the user, to the requester. Okay, this is what this function does to us. Okay, so I hope uh, it's all clear. So this is our database logic. Now, <clears throat> what we will do is, we are going to implement the application so that the first, when the first time the application opens uh, in a mobile device, it will extract the list of words from the provided asset file and stores it to the database. So that whenever the user wants to use the, wants to read or search the words, it will, the, the list of words will be available in the database. Okay. So, the first time the user opens our application, we want to extract the file from this word file and store it in the database. So for that, we'll have to do some tricks. Okay, Either we want to do it on the splash activity. The moment the, the splash activity uh, ends and whenever uh, when, it's, uh, when it's going to open the main activity, in the, in the middle, the words has to be created. So that's uh, that way we'll make sure that every user before they try to access the words we have created the database. So that's what uh, we'd like to do. Okay. So I think it's enough uh, for this video. In the next video, this is what we are going to do. Uh, so I think if you have any questions, please uh, use the comment section below. Uh, and make sure to subscribe so that you will you will get notifications from YouTube about our next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.
ቪዲዮአችንን እንኮድራችሁት ላይክ የምትለውን ክሊክ አድርጉልን በተጨማሪም ከታች ኮሜንት ሴክሽን ላይ የተሰማችሁን ስሜት ግለጹልን አስተያይታችሁን ቀሬታም ካላችሁ ቪዲዮ ላይ የጎደለም ነገር ካለ ቀሬ ያላችሁ ነገርም ካለ ወይ እንዲጨመር እንዲስተካከል የምትፈልጉት ነገር ካለ እዚ ኮሜንት ሴክሽን ላይ በጽፉልን ይጠቅመናል አይተን አስተካክላለን ሰታችን ከዛ በተጨማሪ ለቻናላችን አዲስ ሆነናችሁና ሰብስክራይብ ካላረጋችሁ ሰብስክራይብ አድርጉ በዛውም እቺን የደውል ምልክቷን ክሊክ አድርጓት ይሄ ማለት አዳዲስ ቪዲዮዎችን ያስንጨምር ዩቲዩብ ለናንተ ኖቲፊኬሽን ይልክላችኋል ማለት ነው እናም ሰግናለን